It's all right. Just got a little bit of my shopping bag. Not much. Just, oh my gosh, now I've got too much. I've got way too much. Oh, how much is this coming to? <sighs> too much. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just basically putting up my Sephora cart with way too much stuff. So let's go through it together and let's see if what I've got on my wish list and in my basket is in your basket and your wish list. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is something I really want to try out. It's the Clinique Almost Lipstick Black Honey that everyone's been raving about. I have never tried it. I want to try it. At the moment, it's £17.85p. And yeah, it's in my basket. I really want to like try it out. I don't know if it's going to be any cheaper. I probably will get it cheaper in the spring sale coming up. But I don't know if I want to wait around for it. I might just like grab it now. Yeah, i just really excited to try it out. I've had so many good things and I like a lip and a balm. And yeah just excited let me know if you've tried this out already the next thing i've got in the basket is this elms pro collagen cleansing balm again i heard really really good things this you can get a bigger one this is just the 20 grams one and again look at all the reviews i read the reviews down below everyone's just saying it's amazing and i've never tried it so that's why i put this bad boy in my basket the rare beauty soft pinch tinted lip oils haven't um for some like reviews I have like watched with this I have to go back again but I am interested because I'm still looking for that like oil well, I've got oils but more like a tinted lip oil like it's just it's like a gloss is it more tinted like how tinted are we talking it looks nice I haven't really tried anything rare beauty so and I think the price at the moment is really good what was only £13.95p so I think this would be a good one to try the shade I picked up. What was the shade? That's honey. I didn't pick that one up. I think I wanted to try... Not happy. Not joy. Which one did I want to try? Was it Wanda? I think. Or was it this pink one? Actually, no, it was Hope. I wanted to try the colour Hope. Because I just thought like, it looked like a lovely pink shade. And I just thought it would look nice on me, on my uh, skin tone. Hopefully. We'll never know though, until I put it on my face. Next was the Ordinary the Glycolic Acid, because I suffer with melia and bumps and stuff. Um, again, reviews view the roof of this thing. Um, and I do like using like a glycolic acid, but I haven't got any at the moment. Like I've got one that I'm using, but it's running low. So I was going to try, yeah, the Ordinary. I've tried some of the products before, but again, I when I moved um, a house, I had some old like products and I just got rid of them. And some of them went all funny around the rims of the bottles. But again... Yeah, I'm going to try this one. <gasps> I wanted this for ages, but look how much it is. It's £39 for a highlighter. And I don't really feel like I can justify spending £39 for the highlighter. But it just looks so pretty. Oops, where's it gone? It's back. And I just love the fact also it looks a little compact and it has a mirror. And it just looks like it's going to be really flattering on like any skin tone. And again, wowzers, yeah, the reviews are through the roof. And I always, I really like my MAC Soft and Gentle, and that's really, really old. I need to get rid of it. And I would like to just to get an all-rounder, just one highlighter. So I think eventually I probably will get this one. But I've also got my eye on some other things by Natasha Denona. This was intriguing to me because I've got a few perfumes. I saw this one. I thought it wasn't too much money. It's only 10 mils. Reviews, again, through the roof. And apparently some people were saying that, oh, I can't think of the names of the singer now. Oh, what's her name? Very popular pop singer. No, her name's just gone for me. But apparently this flower bomb, Edward, uh, perfume is meant to be really nice. And it's meant to smell like lots of different notes in this one. So it's like fruity, florally. Yeah. and But apparently people are saying that it's very, very sweet. That's it, Taylor Swift. Apparently Taylor Swift wears this. And no, that's not why I want to try it. I just was curious when I was going through the perfume section and I came across it and it's like a nice little rollable one and I like the packaging it looks kind of cute so yeah I thought why not give it a go and the price is you know cheap and if it lasts that long then fair play for that price so yeah gonna try that out and let you guys know let me know if you've tried this before on this brand was it Victor and Rolf if I'm saying that right Daisy Mark Jacobs just because look at that bottle and again had really good things with the Mark Jacob perfume line and have not tried so I feel like I want to try this one and yeah this just looks lovely and the smell white raspberries white raspberries white raspberries they are uh, daisy tree petals and sugar musk are in this one so yeah yeah hang on are we 
Daisy, Daisy Love, S so sweet. Yeah, it's this one. So yeah, and a lot of people are saying it smells beautiful. Even some men on here reviewing for their wives and girlfriends saying that they love it when they their partners wear this one. So I was like, yeah, okay, we'll try it out. And again, the the bottle just looks super cute. Where's the bottle gone? So cute. I'm uh, gonna get me some rock retinol uh, because I want some different uh, retinol because I've got one at the moment, it's okay. But again, running low on that one and I've heard good things on this. And again, I've checked out the reviews and other people reviewing this online and they say it's pretty darn good. So yeah, I've put this bad boy in my basket. I need to go through my basket then before I actually go to check out because it's like loads of money. So some of these things I will be getting and some things I will be getting out of my basket because it's just too much money. This, I've never bought anything from this company. I'm really going to butcher the name. I'm going to try and pronounce it. Is it Nasseri? No, Nasseri? Uh, the Body Lotion Fragrance. Um, so good reviews on this brand as well. This is a body lotion. And it's fragrance free. But it's fairly pricey. You get 200 mils for 28 quid. Hmm. So this is like a maybe. I was like checking this out. But I liked the ingredients. I checked out the ingredients list and it was all pretty good. No nasties. So I was really interested in that. And some people were saying they really liked it for their body. And yeah, look, they're like, it's my holy grail. I love this. If you have dry skin, get it. So for sensitive skin and noses, it's great. So yeah, so this one I'll be probably checking out actually. I'm curious. Same company also, they do this bar, but apparently in this body bar, whoops, it has, sorry about that, it has 2% like physical exfoliant, it's got like little beads in it or something, you can't tell though, um, a lot of people say it's okay, some of them say it works for their KP, like bumps in the back of their arms, lumpy bumps like with the skin and stuff, which I do suffer with in the back of my arms, and a little bit in the back of my legs, um, but yeah, so I was thinking about trying this bar out for like those my lumpy bits my lumpy bits that sounds so wrong my kp bits um yeah they say it's good but then some people say it was like really harsh on their skin some people love it some people don't look they're saying it hurts them but i might just you know give this one a go for you guys and let you know if it clears up my like roughy bits on my um under my arms and that the Elf Poreless Potty Primer. Why? Um, of course I'm going to get that. It's cheap and happy. The ingredients are okay. They're not awful. They're not amazing though. Um, but I've had great things about it. So I was going to try it. Uh, yeah, the ingredients are okay. Let's have a look at all of them actually. And just bring them up quickly. Let's check them quickly. Uh, do we have any nasties? The higher the number, and if it's red, it's not good. Green's okay. Tells you it was an irritant or acne. Or this is the safety rating for it. Tells you what it is, the function, what it does. Um, I think we're okay. Uh, no, we're not. Okay, so we won't be getting this because it's got some talc in it. And talc's, you know, there's a big hoo-ha about talc. It's not like I hate talc. It's just that you can't tell if it's talc and then if it's got some other stuff in the talc. Unless they put it through like proper like testing and sieving. So yeah, I don't know that. Nah, that's out of my cart now. Um, I'm going to pick up another e.l.f. lip oil. I already have the Jam Sessions one, which you've seen me wear all the time. That's not that one. Ah, oh, it's that one. No, it's not. It's that one. There we go. <laughs> um, but I'm probably going to pick up maybe Rose Envy, but I feel like the colours would be too similar, so I might get a bit of a lighter one. Rose Quartz, or I might pick up Coral Fixation. That one looks nice too. I really want to try this. It's the Elf Holy Hydration Makeup uh, Cleansing Balm. Everyone's saying it's amazing to take their makeup off. It's like their holy grail. Is it your holy grail? Let me know. But it's 10 dollars I don't feel like I can go wrong with 10 dollars So I'm probably just going to try it anyway. And then get back to you guys if you've not tried it out and let you know how good it is. I'm going to pick up the Elf Look On Liner and Brow Cream. Because everyone says it's like an Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Can't even speak. Um, this is £5 and that, that other ABH one is so much more money. So yeah, I might give this a go. I was going to get this shade because I think this one might be a bit too dark for me. That's espresso. I was going to get medium brown. See how I get on with that one. And then I was really interested in the Elf Aura Satin Foundation, but I don't know what shade to get. I'm like, do I get beige? I'm like, got neutral undertone. So then I was looking at this one. 
because it says it's got neutral undertone. That's the only one that says it. But it looks a bit too yellowy for me. So I don't know. Have you guys tried this foundation? Is it good? And what shade do you think I should get? Because I don't know. And that's it. That's all of it. That's my shopping bag. Some of this I'll get or some of this I won't get. Let me know what you will be picking up. Yeah, so let me know what you'll be picking up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.